Culture, Our People is a series of five videos introducing teachers to First Nations and Métis culture and communities. The series covers key areas such as communities, protocols, relationships, learning, and symbols. In the episode Speak Out, students voice their opinions and experiences through candid interviews. We are a culture of rich stories, great celebration, and various historical challenges, which have all contributed to our culturally diverse communities today. We want our teachers to feel confident and comfortable in our communities. We are looking forward to sharing our history and values with you. Northern Light School Division consists of 26 schools and three division offices in a widely dispersed geographical location known as Alberta's Lakeland. It serves nearly 6,000 students with diverse program options such as fine arts, literacy, second languages, and career preparation. Improving our world one student at a time. That is the vision of Northern Light School Division. It is their mission to work together and help every student learn and excel. Be a part of your community. Engage. Attend the various community events. Fine art showcase. Read to Succeed, Student Conferences, Board Community Engagement Meeting, Volunteer, Coach a Sports Team. My probably the number one advice is build relationships. You know, if you can't build relationships, you're not going to last here. And it's uh, the number one thing. Make sure you can build relationships. This year we have had some teachers with, uh, doing some home visits. We've had staff member be like a hockey mom to one of our students going to rodeos. We've gone and we've been invited to the Christmas, um, the Christmas dinner and stuff at the settlement. Um, every year we've kind of had like a when National Aboriginal Day, we get invited out there, so everybody goes out and play games. First of all, I would ask, what do you know about the Aboriginal culture? What do you know about it? Like, what have you heard or what have you seen? You know, ask her, like, how she, what she knows about it. Maybe she knows a lot, maybe she doesn't, and that's where you can help her if she doesn't know a lot. Um, I think the thing that is, is very important for, in, in an Aboriginal context, is the relationships between the teachers and the students and how the students are made to feel affects how the relationship between the parents or grandparents or whoever the aunts and uncles um, is with the teachers. Well being a student of course well everybody knows what that's like and being young but the difference is like um, there's maybe 15 to 20 kids in your class and um, maybe there's a hundred kids in that school compared to like some of the schools in the city which have a lot more than that. That's why relationships are really important. I remember having teachers as I got older, they brought new teachers in just about every year and all the teachers were um, from outside of the settlement. But um, I remember the bonds between me and them weren't very strong, like they weren't as strong as like they were when I was younger. Maybe it was just because I got older and I got more stubborn, but <laughs> that aside, I believe that even when you're older, it's still important to make that bond. Not just Aboriginal students, like for any student, there needs to be that relationship to connect with that child, but I think especially for Aboriginal children, because traditionally that's how they learn, right? They learn from relations and relatives, like they're all one big family. Even if they weren't in the family, they're all together like a family. And they learn from each other. And that's how they would learn, like if there's a relationship between a teacher, they would feel like family. Kids need to know that 
you care about them before they'll open up to you and they'll they'll do more things for you. They'll they'll learn. They'll uh, they'll try to please you if you know if they know that you're interested in in their personal lives and, and what they what what their interests are. There's a lot of the kids that are have low self-esteem, like an extra, or even like saying hi, how are you doing today? To those kids, that changes their whole day. That could make a big difference in their day and even in their week. Mm -hmm. Just saying hi, knowing they're there, a smile. If you don't have a relationship with the kids, they're not going to like you and they're not going to learn. <laughs> or they're not going to want to listen to anything you got to say. They're really good at figuring out if you don't like them. And they will not buy into anything you do. So. You grow up with your family in Kikino, and to be around everyone else is just, that's a big change, it's a big difference. I had Métis teachers teach me in grade five to six. I even had the same teacher from grade five to grade six. So we would joke around, and I wouldn't be able to joke around with any other white teachers like that because it was, it'd be weird, right? There's rules in your community, so you know that you can joke with a person in a certain way. Yeah. Um, you can make fun of certain things, and it's okay. Um, but then when you come to a, a place where there's different cultural rules, different cultural context, it's really difficult to just throw it out there and, and um, you know, the expectation is different, right? I, I find that probably I enjoy teaching I'm gonna say 200, 300% more in a small town than I would in a city because I get to keep seeing students that I've taught on the streets. I just see, you know, parents, I've, I've made connections. Like I know a lot of people in this town and uh, it's because of teaching. So it's really important that, that, that I remain in a small town. I just love it, love it because of that. It's family making. Mm -hmm. And I mean, especially in Aboriginal communities, mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing is, is you belong, your family is there, you have that support, you know you're supported. That being um, aware of who you are and, and that sense of belonging is so powerful that you're always drawn to that, to be able to see yourself in the school curriculum, to be able to see yourself in um, just the environment is so important. If you can help those kids with that, Feeling that sense of belonging and connectedness is so, it makes the world a difference. Structured Beginning Teacher Mentorship Program, which gives new staff members an opportunity to learn and share with other new teachers. Access funds for tuition assistance for postgraduate advancement. Opportunity to attend national and international conferences. Salary and benefit packages that rank among the best in Alberta. Our teachers are highly motivated and caring individuals who are very passionate about their subject area. Teachers really do believe, and I'm glad that they do, that they can help today's students become tomorrow's leaders. <laughs>